It's tier list time, and uh, I made some mistakes last list, and it's time for me to own up to them. And so the first thing I am going to say is Sprite was way more impactful than I thought it would be even without Toad. Sprite is definitely our tier one deck of the format. Uh, if you disagree with that, you're wrong. <laughs> like, there's just a jillion variants of it. Runic Sprite is particularly uh good right now i'm gonna put runic right up there next to it runic sprite is definitely better than here runic um at this point it's just more options i don't see why you would run it i've been testing uh the new ban list that hits the runic cards to two before the ban list even dropped and i still got diamond two um so pretty good uh next i'm gonna go ahead and go with uh abc i'm gonna put it at tier three with the um with the new engine it got pretty decent uh it's just not enough pretty much same logic for cyber dragons um therion helped him a lot but it's just still not gonna be there, especially with all the sprite uh, variants running around. Um, Endemian, I'm gonna put Endemian at the top of, um, put him in tier two for now. They'll probably slide around in there. Drytron, Drytron's gonna go in tier three. It can still function, it's just not as good as it used to be. Um, Dogmatica can go and play a bowl. You really don't see it at this point. It's not really waking waves. You don't even see it sneaking under the radar. Altergeist can definitely go in tier three. Uh, Branded, still gonna be in tier one. I think Branded is still a powerhouse and deserves to be in tier one. Branded Despia being the best variant of Branded. So I'm just gonna slide Despia up there. Despia without Branded would probably be a lot lower on the list, but let's be real, people are gonna run out with Branded. Um, at Ignister, so if they go first in this format, I feel like they can establish that unbeatable uh, boss monster with like the 5,000 attack that's unaffected by everything, and then other decks like Sprite can just kind of look at it. Runic Sprite can still mill it out, but uh, I do feel like it deserves to be kind of near the butt of tier 1, but I do feel like it's a tier 1 deck at this point. Uh, Burning Abyss is playable. It's pretty much fallen off and it's pretty much dead at this point. Uh, the deck can function. I haven't seen it at all in Platinum or Diamond um, in the previous season, so I just feel like that's a good place for it. Uh, Dark Magician moving out of the Poo Poo Doo Doo tier to playable now that they got their uh, ritual monster that they needed to make the deck more consistent. It's still not very good. Um, I, I just don't really see it. I see Branded Blue Eyes doing some stuff. Regular Blue Eyes, Poo Poo Doo Doo, Branded Blue Eyes, it can be unplayable. Uh, Grave Keepers, they're kind of doo-doo right now. Um, Emancipator. Emancipator's got hit really hard. I have seen some people trying to run Emancipator Sprite, which like, it's weird because it's non-rock monsters. Um, I'm putting Emancipator in tier 3. I barely ever see it anymore and I just don't feel like it's very impactful. Uh, Dragon Maid, and especially Branded Dragon Maid. The deck's like not great, but it's still better than just playable, so tier 3. Earth Machine Toolbox, playable at this point. If we hit Clockwork Knights, that's going to slide way up there. Cyber Dragon will probably also move up to tier 2 because you'll just be able to contact any board. Just summon Cyber Dragon, contact away. Uh, heroes are getting back... Um, heroes are getting back Destiny Fusion at 2. I feel like D-Hero in Hero can be back up in... Where's regular Hero? Can be back up in tier 3. I feel like they're a little bit better than playable with that. Uh, Exodia, Poo Poo Doo Doo, Runic is still a deck, and it's just going to doo doo all over it. 
Um, I'm seeing more Eldritch. I'm going to put Eldritch at the top of tier 3. Uh, the deck's decent-ish. Um, circular, you don't see it being played as much at this point because uh, of the decks in tier 1. But Circular is definitely still good. Math Mech's definitely still tier 2. Um, kind of at the ass end of tier 2, I'm going to put uh, Marinsis. People kind of know how to play around this now. In a best of 1 format, it's still really annoying. Um, pretty much most to all of the sprite players are running Lava Golems. So you can just basically get rid of that monster and it can just kind of really hurt it. This might move down to tier 3 next to Eldritch by the time we finish the list. Uh, DDD, they can still make boards. I actually lost to DDD going second with Sprite just because I couldn't play out of the huge negate board they made. They just had way too much and I didn't draw the Lava Golem. Uh, Orcus getting one of their cards back. Uh, Harp at three, kind of nutty. Um, they have the Therion engine to protect it. It doesn't have a lot of representation, but it does have a lot going for it. And I actually feel like it has more than the decks below it at this point. So I am going to go ahead and move it up to tier 3. Uh, Aromage is pretty much dead at this point. Um, yeah, I'm going to put him poo-poo. Be king of poo-poo. Uh, what do we want to do with... What do we want to do with zombies? Zombies. I feel like generic zombie spam variants are somewhere in here. In like the middle of tier three. Uh, blue is still annoying. Negating effects and shit. Uh, just being generally annoying. I feel like flu is tier two at this point. I feel like it is pretty easy to beat out with the sprite board. Uh, most time of the time, even if I go second, I can out my opponent's flu board playing sprite runic. So I really don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Uh, prank kids, prank kids, emancipator. I feel like it's tier three at this point. Um, Salad, I'm actually even going to put Salad higher than Emancipator. The deck's just kind of died. Uh, Scareclaw. So Scareclaw being able to shut off effects is good. No one's really playing this as a check to Sprite, but in some testing I did have good results with Scareclaw. I feel like they deserve the Tier 3. Uh, Dinomorphia. Ass end of Tier 3. It might be downgraded playable. Pendulum Magician, same boat. Uh, Phantom Knights, at this point, they're playable. The deck's too easy to beat down. Uh, Dinosaurs, tier 3. Um, probably like up there. Banish, uh, Banish Man, Grin, Grin Manju, tier 3. Um, Cubic me the ass end of playable you can still like just dumpster on your opponent with the huge boss monster i mean it's kind of like worse blue eyes at this point it doesn't have access to the branded engine like blue eyes does uh kaiju chi shenanigans just because of the representation on the ladder i'm going to put it in playable i do think that it is like a decent tier three contender but because there's no representation, it goes to playable. Ice Jade, Poo Poo, uh, Labyrinth. Labyrinth's gonna be right up here in tier two. And I am putting Labyrinth high. And I'm putting Labyrinth high because I feel like people sleep on it. It deserves to be there. The deck is still very consistent. It still has all its cards. It still does Labyrinth things. Um, I do consistently beat it when I play Runic Sprite, but I actually have lost a couple of games to it. And I feel like it is pretty decent and deserving of the tier two spot. 
Uh, so Zoo Try has pretty much fallen off because um, was it Try uh, Try Sprite is the better variant. So I feel like Zoo Try is kind of more of a tier three deck, and Try Sprite is more of a tier two deck. I feel like it's more of the king of tier two than being in tier one at this point. Uh, Spiral's playable. I don't think you're gonna really win main games when doing Spiral, but it's playable. Uh, Spellbooks, including Spellbook Runic. Spellbook Runic is just kind of worse than um, Spiral Runic. So. I'm actually gonna put it, I love this deck and it pains me, but I'm gonna put it way back here. Uh, Spiral Life Twin, that is a good deck. It has a ton of options. It's very resilient. You cannot play it sometimes, but I do feel like it is just very decent. I'm actually, and I see a lot of it in Diamond. I'm actually gonna put it in the ass end of tier one. Take that with what you will. Trap checks, they're playable. Uh, Rongo Bongo 6 Sam Turbo, it's playable. Um, Virtual World is doo-doo at this point. Change my mind, you won't. Um, Adventure Engine shenanigans, especially with DPE coming back, I feel like it moves out of the playable tier up to tier 3. I feel like it goes beyond Hero because it's a better deck with the adventure.goodstuff engine. Sword Soul. Sword Soul has completely fallen off the map, pretty much. It's basically been completely replaced by Sprite at this point. Um, I almost never see anyone playing Sword Soul out of Platinum, and I haven't seen anyone playing Sword Soul in Diamond. I feel like the deck is still good. I'm gonna put it up there by Labyrinth. Madolce, playable. Um, I kind of feel like it's too easy out at this point. Uh, Unchained, it's gonna mean doo doo at this point. Uh, Plunder, doo doo. Uh, Umi, good stuff, playable. Insectors, unfortunately, my boys are doo doo. Uh, Therion as a deck, not very good. It's playable. Therion as an engine would be somewhere more like up here or up here, but as a deck, it's playable. Lunalite Try, I don't know why you would run this when Tri Sprite exists. Pretty much just regulated to, uh, it can be, I mean, that's tough. I feel like actually playable is the right place for it. Sky Striker. Sky Striker's gonna struggle bus a little bit this format. Um, just because it gets checked by so many of the decks above it. I'm gonna put it in tier three. Drickstar, it's playable. Uh, True Draco is pretty much doo-doo at this point. Thunder Dragon. Thunder Dragon really hasn't lost anything, and it's not super terrible, and the fact that it can stop your opponent from adding is decent. I'm gonna put it in the same boat as Sky uh, Tracker, and I'm gonna put it in tier three. Um, Speedroids, playable. Uh, Crusadia, going second, FTK, playable. Can come out of left field. Um, Numeron, OTK, this, has a lot of checks now if you're going first with this deck which you don't really want to you can get stuff out but if you're going second you're just gonna have so many problems running into the gates the deck's not dead and i feel like it's more consistent than the things below it so i am gonna put it in like high tier three uh this is sword soul well, i don't know why i put nordics in there i got confused for a second nordics are doo doo um springins like pure springins even spring and branded it's poo poo springins are just not a dark type uh dragon link i'm gonna put you back there behind sword soul punk 
So Punk with the new Psychic Fusion, surprisingly good. I'm seeing it all over Diamond lately, which was a big surprise to me. I actually played four of them in a row. Um, I'm gonna put Punk next to DDD in tier two. Disagree with me if you want. And next we have tier elements. If it gets released, this is speculation. I feel like tier elements is probably gonna be right here. But yeah. That's it for the list. Uh, let me know down below if you agree or disagree, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.